Hey guys, Brian here from LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, how to sell on eBay from your mobile device. So this topic came up recently in another video that I posted about um, eBay and selling on eBay and some of my best tips um, for you know, things that you can do to be successful. So Mike from uh, Evil's Comics um, asked me, well, how do I sell if I just have a mobile device, if I have you know, no desktop computer and no, no printer? So we're going to answer that question tonight. So um, stick around to find out how to sell on eBay from your mobile device. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's um, get into how to sell on eBay from your mobile device. So you can see I'm sharing my uh, mobile device uh, here um, and my eBay uh, app is in the money folder because I make money with it. So um, let's jump right in. So um, a couple things about it before. So I I'm obviously already have an eBay account uh, created. Uh, you have to do that. You'd have to you know, if you don't have the app on your phone, you have to download the app from, you know, the app store. You know, that's step one. Step two, then create the account. Um, and then from there, you can begin to list, you know, like I said, right from your, your mobile device. So um, this kind of just shows me I have 569 active listings. I've, in the last, you know, three months, I've sold 192 sales. Um, you can see the uh, total up there of a little bit over $3,000. So what I'm going to show you tonight, though, is how to list. And, and this applies to really to, for listing uh, any items, but we're going to we're going to show you a comic book. So I'm going to show you this uh, Punisher number one from I think this is 2018. But I'm going to show you with the app how it can identify, you know, this book very easily for you. So let's go to list an item. And so you have the option here of either, um, you know, typing in a keyword. So I could say, uh, you know, Punisher 2018, um, but I'm going to use the barcode. So um, if I scan the barcode on the comic book, it will come up with, as you can see, it comes up with similar um, comps. So I'm going to just scroll until I actually find the actual comic book. I um, mean, there it is. So this is from 2018, but let's, the, this is in very good condition. So I'm gonna say very good. Um, and so now it takes me to the actual listing um, details. So one of the first things that, that you need, and um, I've talked about it in other videos, is photos. If you're selling comic books or really anything, you need to have very good photos because a potential buyer is going to want to know what the item looks like, what kind of conditions in, and the best way to do that is to actually have some great pictures. So for comic books, um, you know, I always uh, I suggest you know the full full front cover, full back cover, corners um, of the book, and maybe even uh, a photo of the inside. Um, of the book to look at, you know, page quality. So let's add photos that I already have from my phone. Um, so I, you know, I took photos ahead of this. Um, and so they're just right on my phone and I took the photos, you know, with my phone. So just gonna go through and select and you hit upload. And so now the pictures appear. So as a potential buyer, um, you know, comes to look at an item, you know, they see all the photos in, in um, you know, listed and, and can get a good sense for the quality and the condition of your item. Um, so I'm done with my photos. So next is title. Now it pre-populated it, uh, the title, since we, we had it, um, you know, using the barcode. You can change it. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, you know, you could add additional details, Marvel, you know, if there was a first appearance in this comic book, or like I said, if it's any other item, you know, any important details, you know, whether it's, um, you know, if it's a, if an item other than a comic book, you know, is it new in box, unopened, or, you know, slightly used, whatever the case may be. Um, so because I used the barcode scanner, it, it, it filled in a lot of the information for me. 
Um, you can see it filled in the category. Um, so the description. The description here is you want to have, you know, some detail about the book. So because, it, like I said, I used the barcode scanner, it um, pre-populated some of this information for me. Um, and it's you can see it even says shipped via a UPS first class. Now for a single book, you can ship it first class. Um, it is, uh, you know, under, you know, 16 ounces or 15 ounces, I think is the rule for first class. So you can send this as first class. If you have multiple books, you really need to start looking at other um, shipping options like, uh, you know, priority mail. Priority mail for, you know, about $8, you can ship about 12 books um, in a, you know, priority envelope, priority package. Um, and then like a medium box, priority medium box is around $16 and you can ship somewhere in the 20 to, you know, 25 comic books. And then you can even go a large box priority mail uh, for about $21 and you can ship, uh, you know, probably close to, you know, 40 books or so. Um, depends on, you know, what type of books, the thickness of the books, if it's an annual, if it's a, you know, a giant size book. So, um, but there's a, that's just some general guidelines. And one of the reasons why I like using priority uh, mail when shipping multiple books is because it comes with insurance and there's free packing supplies from the United States Postal uh, Service. So, it's always a it's it's a good option to look at. Some people use media mail. Uh, media mail is not um, an approved option for shipping comic books. It it's really used for novels, you know, fiction, nonfiction, and media, movie media, DVDs, things like that. So you have to be careful. I know people do use media mail because it is a cheap option to ship, um, but you just need to be careful, um, you know, when shipping comics. Uh, because media mail, you know, I, my impression is that it doesn't get treated as well as priority mail when it's shipped. So you, you really need to make sure you pack it well um, if you're going to ship it, uh, that option. But I don't recommend that. So, okay, so I'm not going to change anything, but you can add anything here in the description and just click on done. And then from here, um, you can see the different uh, pricing options. Now, I tend to um, sell comic books as a buy it now. So I set a price and say buy it now. You can also set, um, you know, best offers. So somebody can make you an offer and you can kind of negotiate back and forth with them. You can also use auctions, um, but I've seen, you know, I've seen as a seller, I've seen auctions sometimes not go the way you think it will go and you don't get the money you expect for a book. So that's why I like to use the buy it now. Um, but so I can go in and if I hit the little pencil, I can go in and edit this. So I'm going to get rid of the auction and I'm going to make it a buy it now. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to make the price, uh, $5. So I hit done. And so now you see it price buy it now, um, $5 and it's good till canceled. So that's the thing about buy it now, you know, it's an, an until it sells, until the item sells, the, um, the listing will stay up with an auction. You set it based on a time period, seven days, 10 days. And then once it's over, um, if somebody, if there is at least one bid on it, it's sold for whatever your minimum price was or whatever that bid was for. So, um, like I said, certainly with high value comics, I've seen bids, you know, exceed what somebody's looking for. And I've also seen them fall, fall short and you know the seller not get exactly what they want for so that's one of the reasons why i don't use um, uh, auctions so now you can see the delivery you know you have different options um, this is um, you know up uh, us uh, ps uh, first class um, it gives the you know the buyer pays shipping cost so you know that's a decision up to you as a seller on ebay whether you want the buyer to pay for shipping or if, if you want to cover the shipping now um, you know, it really depends on the value of the book. You know, I, what I, my general rule is I'll ship for free on a very high value book if I have a graded book. Um, but if I'm, I'm selling this comic for $5, um, and I, and if I accept the best offer at lower than $5, I'm really expecting the, um, buyer to pay for shipping, right? Because if I cover shipping for, you know, $4 here, um, and I sold the book for five, I'm only making a dollar. So, um, you know, my general rule is to let the 
buy or pay shipping, but just try to keep the shipping cost as you know as cheap as possible, um, so that you know uh, a potential uh, buyer doesn't pass your listing up for somebody else's because they're offering free shipping. Just a, a, a little thought. I've had no issues with um, buyers uh, paying uh, shipping. I've had no issues with it at all. Um, you know, it actually works out when they're buying multiple books. If they're buying multiple, you know, books from you, you can combine shipping and give them a discount. Um, like I said, Priority Mail is a great option for up to almost 12 books. You can ship for about eight bucks. Um, so that's really a great, a great option. Um, so I'm in my eBay, I'm part of the global shipping program. And what that means is the global shipping program is that I ship to like an eBay hub and then they will ship it from there overseas. So I don't have to worry about any, you know, custom forms or any crazy postage or anything like that. I send it to eBay. eBay handles the delivery from their warehouse to wherever it is. So I've sold books, you know, um, uh, Canada, UK, all over the place. Um, using the global shipping uh, program and I've never had a problem. Um, you know, the, it does cost additional for an international um, buyer. You know, they're paying more for shipping, but your shipping is to a location, an eBay location within the United States. Um, so you can basically ship it for, you know, whether it's first class or priority. And that's that's the cost, um, you know, on your side. The, the international buyer would then pay additional to get it you know, overseas. But you basically don't see that. eBay handles that all. It's kind of done behind the scenes. Um, so you don't need to worry about it. And that's why I really um, like using the global um, shipping program. Um, so I, I have managed payments uh, through eBay. So basically eBay um, pays me once a week. So all of the books that I've sold or any of the items that I've sold in the past week, um, eBay will then direct deposit into my checking account um, the money that I've made. So what they do is there are, you know, obviously there's eBay fees. Um, so whatever their fees are are deducted from the payment from the, um, from the buyer. And then the balance gets left in, you know, my account held for a week and then direct deposited. Um, I've joined uh, managed payments about six months ago. I've not had an issue with it at all. The one benefit that I like about managed payments is um, you're not going back and forth. It used to be handled, you could handle it uh, via PayPal. Um, but the, the difficulty or the, the issue with PayPal would be you would get all of the money deposited and then at the end of the month, eBay would invoice you for all of the fees. And so if you're selling a lot of items, it could be, you know, four or $500 that you need to pay at the end of the month. Um, so this way it's just deducted right out. So you can look at your dashboard on eBay and see how much money you have coming to you uh, because your fees are deducted right away. So I just really like it. It's just, it streamlines the process of payments. Um, and it's been, it's been working out really well for me. So there, there are some options, you know, you can do some highlighting of, of a particular item. Um, you know, promote it through eBay for additional cost. You, you can bold the listing. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, I typically do not do any of those things um, because they do cost additional money. Um, I'm just making sure that I have um, good uh, description, good photos, and a good, um, you know, title to the item so that when people search, they're going to find, you know, if they're looking for Punisher, this book will come up. So um, I have um, a basic uh, eBay subscription, store subscription. So I'm able to list for free uh, most of my items. Um, and typically, even if you don't have a basic store, eBay has certain limits that allow you to um, list for free for a certain amount of items, you know, per, you know, every month. And then it resets. Um, so if you're going to be selling a lot of items, like I, like I said, I have over 600 items listed uh, today, um, or if you want to list in bulk a lot of items all at once, um, you know, you may want to consider a eBay store subscription. It gives you a little bit more flexibility and it reduces some of your, you know, some of your fees. So let's just preview this um, item. So you can see here are the photos that I uploaded um, and they're actually, I, I have to go back and edit them 
they're not in the right order. Um, and they're um, typically I want to change the orientation on those so that they're, you know, they're that book is horizontal. Um, I'm sorry, vertical. So you're not looking at it kind of sideways. But you, but this gives you the sense. You can see all the different pictures. I've I've got the pictures of the corners of the books. Um, you know, the corner of the books and inside cover, the back cover and the front cover. They're just kind of out of out of order here. Um, and here it is, the you know Punisher number one, Rosenberg from 2018, five dollars, um, one available. You know, basically here are all the different um, terms, shipping, return, payment, and that's really it. Uh, you know, so this is um, this is a preview of the item, and all I have to do is hit list your item, um, and it will go it will go live and be available for people to search. So I've already. Um, I already have this book listed for sale, so I'm not going to duplicate it uh, because I only have a single copy. But that gives you a good um, kind of overview of how, how easy it is to list. Um, I take all of my photos from my phone um, and then transfer it. So this is, you know, this is showing you how to do it directly from your mobile device. So um, it, it can be done, you know, pretty quickly. Um, and I use the mobile device app, the eBay app, to, you know, check in on items, you know, throughout the day. So I don't have to be at a desktop or laptop. Um, I can, uh, you know, respond to seller, um, seller questions. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, buyer questions. Um, yeah, I'm the seller. They're the buyers. So I can, I can reply to any questions that come up. I can, if somebody makes me an offer, I can accept it or counter offer right through the app. Now, the one other thing that um, uh, Mike from uh, Evil's Comics had asked about was, well, what about a printer? He doesn't have a printer, right? So um, eBay has the option to be able to, um, you're able to basically purchase the shipping label through eBay. And typically when you do that, you get a discount. Um, and then what you can do is choose not to print it but they'll give you a um, QR code, basically a, a you know a scan, uh, a scannable QR code that you can take to the post office. So you pack up your comic or any other item, um, and you purchase the label through eBay. You get the QR code, and then you take that QR code um, from uh, you know on your phone to the post office. They scan it, and they're able to print the shipping label for you. You've already paid for it, so there's no no transaction or money that's needed at the post office. Um, it's all handled through eBay. You get the discount, and they print it for you. You put it on the on the package, and off it goes. So, uh, you know, basically, you can manage everything right here from your mobile phone. Like I said, including purchasing labels, and then just having it, you know, printed at the uh, the post office. One thing to keep in mind is that you know if you're you're selling multiple items and you've packed them all up, you got to have some type of system, you know, whether it's a sticky note or writing on the package what it is, so you don't get packages mixed up as you're printing at the post office and then send you know the wrong package to the wrong uh, buyer and and so forth. So you just got to kind of keep that in mind if you're printing at the post office, or even if you're going to you know skip that step altogether and go to the post office. And purchase, um, you know, shipping labels, you know, directly. You just you need to have some type of um, system, you know, or or maybe organized to, to know what package is what. So you don't want to you don't want to make a mistake and send the, the you know the wrong item to the wrong uh, person. So just just a little tip to keep in mind. So um, I think that's really it. That's basically it. I mean, hopefully I've covered it. You know, I've been selling. I've been an eBay member for over twenty years. So I'm very familiar with eBay, um, and so you know I may have um, missed it, missed a you know a step, or maybe not covered something that you may have a question on. So if you do, certainly just you know drop it in the uh, drop it in the comments, and I'll I'll be happy to uh, to reply to your um, your question. So so hey guys, let me just show you how to quickly edit those photos. Um, I didn't show you that um, when I first added them. So. Um, you can just simply tap the little pencil icon. Um, and once the photos are uploaded, you can basically um, drag and drop photos. Um, so I'm gonna take this and cover that I wanna make my main photo. And if I tap on it, I have the ability to then to kind of edit it. 
um, you can kind of see the different icons. On this one, I, all I want to do is rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it to get it to the right orientation and then click on done. And so now I want to do the same for the back cover. So I'm going to rotate that, get the right orientation, and then click on done. So now I have you know, the Punisher photo, uh, the cover, main cover, then the back cover, and then the inside uh, book, um, inside of the book. So it's just a quick way to go ahead once you have the photos uploaded um, to put them. And I can even you know swap these around because this is the top. Um, here's the top left corner. Maybe I want that first. Then I want the uh, right corner of the book next. And then I have the you know, bottom left hand corner and then the bottom right hand corner. So you can see it's very easy. I can move around, um, you know, and, and basically change the orientation of any of the photos, you know, you know, pretty easily right through the, uh, the mobile app. So um, there it is. Guys, thanks for uh, watching this video. Uh, and I want to thank everyone uh, recently hit the 100 subscriber mark, which is, uh, you know, a big accomplishment for a new channel. So definitely uh, appreciate it. Um, you know, thank you so much. Um, you know, please uh, love to hear your feedback. You know, hit the like button on this video, you know, drop some comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd hope you consider subscribing to the channel. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon.